This is Alan Rice with the Maryland Laundry Group dot com, and we are live. <laughs> That's right, folks. We are live on the Google Hangout, live on our weekly investor support workshops. It's 12 noon, it's Tuesday, and it's time to get rolling with our investor support workshop. This is Aaron Rice, real estate agent with Keller Williams Select Realtors in Annapolis, Maryland. I am actually broadcasting live from Randallstown, Maryland. That's right, live from Randallstown, Maryland. It's cloudy, it's rainy, and it's cold here in Randallstown. It's 36 degrees here in Maryland. And uh, we had a little ice this morning, expecting a little, maybe a few snow flurries a little bit later this afternoon, but no worries because everybody's here and everybody's tuned in to our hold support workshop somewhat of a book club that we do once a week hold is the name of the book you can see it here the forward is by gary keller the title of the book is hold how to find buy and rent houses for wealth the authors are steve chater janice doty jim and linda mckissick with jay papazan so let's go ahead and give them a round of applause for creating such an awesome awesome book for us to follow on our weekly investor support workshop. So if you haven't picked up the book yet, definitely encourage you to get it, get it ASAP so that you can stay, um, stay along with us and uh, not lose your place. So we're on chapter eight today. And well, why don't we go ahead and get into it? Why don't we go ahead and get right into it? We're talking about find, analyze, buy, manage, and grow. These are the investor support workshops. They're live on Facebook, live on mobile every Tuesday at wefindrealestatedeals.com. Again, my name is Aaron Rice. I'm a real estate agent with Keller Williams Select Realtors in Annapolis, Maryland. And you can reach me on my cell phone at 443-244-0051, or you can text me at that same number. Let's talk about some truths of real estate investing. Well, it's accessible, appreciable, leverageable, rentable, improvable, deductible, depreciable, deferrable, stable, livable, and it's doable, folks. You can do it. You can invest in real estate and build wealth for your financial future. Well, again, want to welcome you to the weekly investor support hangout. If you're not watching us on our Facebook fan page, definitely encourage you to come on over to wefindrealestatedeals.com. And you can watch us live every Tuesday at 12 noon East Coast time. And remember, next week, next Tuesday, we'll be covering Chapter 9, Arrange Financing. And again, uh, if you just scroll down to the bottom of this page that you're on, on our Facebook fan page, uh, you can get the archives of all of our past investor support workshops. So definitely encourage you to do that. Or you can simply Google Investor Support Workshop. We own the first page of Google, so you won't have any problem finding us there on Google. Don't forget about our seller support hangouts. We did about 16, 17 of those. Uh, you can find them at sellermastery.com. The archives are available. So just go to sellermastery.com and you can get all 16 of the seller support hangouts where we talked about the 102 mistakes, or most importantly, how to avoid the 102 mistakes that most sellers make. Uh, you can find the full archive there, or again, you can simply Google seller support workshop and uh, find us there and find all the archives there as well. Don't forget about our buyer support hangouts at buyermastery.com. There's where we talked about the 102 mistakes that most buyers make and most importantly, how to avoid them. So definitely encourage you to check that out. The archives are available at buyermastery.com. And again, you can simply Google buyer support workshop and they will come up there on the first page of Google as well. So how can you participate and stay connected? Well, definitely encourage you to not be stingy. Don't be stingy uh, with this information. Go ahead and click that share button. Let your friends know that we're here. Let them know that we're giving up some really good content or this is where you can get all the news and updates, live demos, live Q&A when it comes to investing in real estate here in the state of Maryland. So what can you expect? Well, this hangout will probably be 30 to 45 minutes, maybe an hour, depending on if we have any extra Q&A. And uh, if I didn't mention, we do have a comment section below. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, go ahead and chime on into the comment section below. And uh, I'll go ahead and answer your questions live in real time. And don't forget the replay will be available after, shortly hereafter. You'll be able to come back to wefindrealestatedeals.com and watch the replay. Uh, recording is also available on our YouTube channel. I definitely encourage you to say high in the comments section below. Well, how can you maximize your experience? What are some things you can do? Well, if you're on a desktop or iPad, you can click on the gear icon in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. 
And that's where you can adjust your video resolution. We've got a lot of screen shares, a lot of slides to share with you today, and uh, want to make sure that you can see everything okay. So we also remember that you can watch us on any device. So if you happen to be walking the dog, you can be listening to us or watching uh, as you're walking the dog. If you're on your lunch break at work, uh, you can be listening in on your smartphone as well. And if you're driving, I uh, definitely encourage you to keep two hands on the wheel, eyes forward, but you can be listening uh, to us on your Bluetooth in your car as well. And again, we are live at wefindrealestatedeals.com. All right, some more things that you could do to maximize your experience. If you haven't already, definitely go ahead and give us a like. Go ahead and like the page. Once you've done that, just go ahead and hover over the like button and click on the notifications tab for all the news and updates as they become available. And lastly, definitely encourage you to write a review. Show us some love. If you like the mobile app and all the support and resources that we offer, please take a minute and give us a five-star review. You can go simply to fb.com forward slash Aaron Rice Helps and give us that five-star review. If we haven't earned that five-star review, then definitely let me know what I can do to earn that five-star review. Send me a private message. Let me know what we can do to get that five-star review. All right, so meet your host. Uh, the most important thing you need to know about me is that I'm a husband, father, grandfather, and all-around nice guy. Here's my beautiful bride, Jamila. We just celebrated 14 years with that beautiful woman on the way to the rest of our lives together, for sure. And then my handsome son, uh, Joaquin, just turned 13 years old in the turquoise shirt there. My beautiful daughter, Velissa, just turned 27. She has that orange hat on there. Uh, she's up in Syracuse, New York, representing the Orangeman. Uh, go Cuse. And her son, my handsome, handsome grandson, Zion, is there on the tank top. He just turned seven in September. So big shout outs to my family. Love them to death. And uh, that's why I do what I do. It's all about them. All right. So again, I am a sales associate with Keller Williams Select Realtors in Annapolis, Maryland, and owner of the Maryland Luxury Group.com. My approach takes a critical look at the visions and goals of each client. The combination of my global perspective and youthful mindset provide high-end residential solutions that are repeatable, reliable, relatable, yet edgy and cool. But what's different about what I do? Well, I see myself as the proxy for you, the audience, your consumer advocate, asking your questions. So when I'm out interviewing builders or new home consultants, lenders, appraisers, contractors, I love to bring authenticity, perspective, transparency, and context to the conversation. My attraction to smart home technology, eco-friendly design trends, outdoor living spaces, tranquility rooms, multi-generational living, and new homes is what makes me just a little bit different than the rest. Well, who is the Maryland Luxury Group? Well, the Maryland Luxury Group modernizes traditional topics such as demographics of the affluent, lifestyle segmentation, market trends, and amenities in today's luxury new home product. What we do? Well, we specialize in custom marketing plans for high-end residential spaces. Well, what attracted you to today's workshop? What do you want to learn today? Okay, why are you here? What are some things you could change? Tell me three things you would change about this presentation if you could. Uh, go ahead and chime into the comment section below. Definitely want to hear back from you as to what th things we can do to improve uh, this presentation. Looking for some engagement, folks. Want this to be an interactive workshop. Definitely looking for audience participation. So if you have a question, comment, concern, raise your hand. Let me know uh, so that we can address it in real time. All right. So our goal is to empower you with control. When you're talking about the path to finding, buying, and renting houses for wealth, we want to empower you with control. So how do we do that? Well, we've got eight ways that we do that. Number one is we remove the frustration creating your personal investment criteria. Number two, remove frustration creating your property criteria. Number three, smash financial excuses, helping with price negotiations and financing options. Number four, help negotiating contract terms, conditions, and builder model leasebacks. Yeah, that builder model leaseback, we'll talk about that in the coming weeks and a little bit later today as well. Uh, kind of a out-of-the-box investment strategy. Not many people really focus on that, but I definitely want to bring it to your attention uh, since we are talking about new construction investing. All right, number five, removing technical frustration, finding the price of comparable home sales and rents. We'll do a tour of our website to show you exactly where you can find comps for home sales and comparable rents. Uh, that's not easy to find reliably on the internet nowadays, so we'll show you how to do that. Number six, help knowing where houses sell, market trends reports. Well, from time to time, we do uh, market trends reports, and I definitely encourage you to check out the archive. We did uh, um, some 
cities and counties in Anne Arundel County and Baltimore County as well, and have lots more to come in the future. Number seven, help stacking down payment and closing cost assistance program. So if you've got a property that you've got on the market for sale, let's say you're an investor and you've renovated a property, you're putting the property back on the market for resale, uh, you're going to want to know about the different down payment and closing cost assistance programs uh, to see if your property qualifies to give the buyer any additional closing help that might be available here in the state of Maryland. All right. And you can find more information at moveupmaryland.com. Number eight, help you finalize, analyze, buy, manage, and grow your real estate investment business. That's how we do what we do when we're talking about empowering you, the investor. Well, let's talk about the average real estate investor. Well, the median age is 45 years. I just turned 45 a couple weeks ago, so no, the median age is 45. Median income is 87,500. 35% of investors say they have more than one investment property. 78% of investors <clears throat> consider this a good time to buy. 47% of investors likely to purchase another property within two years. So awesome, awesome stuff. And this is from the National Association of Realtors 2013 Investment and Vacation Home Buyers Survey. All right, so tell me something about you. How many of you consider yourselves to be an expert in real estate investing? Go ahead and chime into this uh, comment section below. Let me know who you are and uh, if you consider yourself to be an expert. How many of you are not experts but are currently investing in real estate? That should be the rest of you. Don't consider yourselves experts, but just currently investing in real estate. Well, when we talk about the whole book, we talk about some pretty uh, finite principles. Number one is leverage people and build your team. Leverage people and build your team. And that's a cornerstone for the whole book, okay? For the whole training. And uh, when we talk about building your team and leveraging people, we're talking about leveraging your real estate agent. That would be me. Leveraging your mortgage lender, leveraging your property manager, le leveraging your attorney, and leveraging your CPA, your certified public accountant. Okay, this is a team that you want to have uh, as you move forward investing in real estate. All right, so let's talk about understanding some of the causes of investor distress. New consumer protection laws are making it harder and harder for the average real estate investor to do avoid foreclosure type marketing, especially here in Maryland. When you're talking about PIFA, the Protection of Homeowners and Foreclosure Act. Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac resale restrictions have made short sales all but impossible, effectively shutting down one of the most lucrative real estate niches in recent history. And basically what that's saying is that there's a lot of uh, rules and regulations when it comes to reselling a distressed property, specifically a short sale. So a lot of lenders are requiring that you hold the property to 60 for 60 to anywhere from 60 to 180 days uh, before you put, put that property back on the resale market. Institutional investors buying properties in bulk are crowding out smaller mom and pop firms. Indeed, REO may be a fully institutional asset class within the next 18 to 24 months. That's right, folks. Wall Street is coming in and buying up a lot of these bank owned properties and buying them in bulk before you even know they existed. <clears throat> so we created a list. I created a list of the top 50 causes of investor distress. Definitely encourage you to check that out in the archives at wefindrealestatedeals.com. Uh, pretty interesting uh, analysis of the 50 reasons why you should actually be looking at builder model leasebacks, okay? Because um, <laughs> when you start talking about the top 50 causes of investor distress, you're talking about some things like, you know, Section 8 inspectors and those types of things. You just don't have to deal with that when you're talking about uh, a builder being your tenant, okay? And we'll, we'll get into those in a little bit more uh, detail a little bit later. All right, so hold the ultimate wealth building strategy. Number one, we're talking about find. Find the right property for the right terms at the right price. Number two, analyze a property to make sure the numbers and terms make sense. Number three, an investment property where you can make money going in. Number four, manage your tenants and properties like a pro. Number five, 
grow your weight of wealth and financial freedom. So the goals for this investment workshop, the goals for the whole investment workshop is that each and every one of you share with a friend or coworker that this workshop is one of the most useful educational trainings you've ever attended. All right. All right. So let's kind of do a quick review. Uh, chapter one, we talked about creating your personal criteria, defining your hold mission, determine your preferred time frame, rate of return and risk tolerance. That's what we talk about. We're talking about creating your personal criteria. Chapter two, we talked about create your property criteria, define the investment neighborhoods to target, determine the price and types of properties to target as well. Chapter number three, we talked about lead generate for properties, cultivate and deploy, cultivate and deploy a network to support your search, prospect target areas for investment opportunities, market and execute for opportunities like it's 2014. What do I mean by that? Well, I'm talking about using social media as opposed to radio or print or postcards or direct mail, and those types of things. Use social media. Use what I'm using. Google Hangouts, uh, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter. Active Rain. These are all different uh, uh, social media websites that you can use uh, to get your word out that you're looking for some deals. All right. Chapter four, understand the hold worksheet. Size up your prospects, understand and use your hold property analysis worksheet. So figure four dash two in your book, this is the hold analysis worksheet, your property analysis worksheet. So in chapter five, we talked about estimate the purchase price, estimate the purchase price, run and drive the comps, establish the property's fair market value and estimate your purchase price. So again, uh, all these chapters are archived at wefindrealestatedeals.com in a little bit more depth. Definitely encourage you to go back and check them out. Actually, if you're on our Facebook fan page now, you can just scroll down to the bottom of the page and check out those archived videos. Chapter six, we talked about project the rent, collect the comps, Projecting the rent is a very important step as it determines your income and cash flow for prospective properties. Chapter seven, we talked about calculate the cost. Figure seven one is your hold property analysis worksheet. And we're talking about estimate, estimating your expenses. There are several expenses you need to take into account to properly analyze your prospective properties. Okay. So we talked about property management fees, leasing costs, maintenance reserve, utilities, property taxes, insurance, HOA fees, lawn care, trash, et cetera. All right. So you really want to be able to analyze your total expenses. And in chapter eight today, we're talking about analyze the property. All right. When we talk about analyzing the property, we're talking about calculating your net operating income, otherwise known as your NOI and determine your cash flow. Analyze your prospects, use the analysis, quick tricks. All right. We're on uh, the hold worksheet from part four, part four, estimating the NOI, the estimated uh, net operating income. Remember your NOI is all the income you make on your property after expenses, but not including your mortgage, not including your mortgage. Okay. So here's a quick formula to determine the NOI. It's the net, net operating income equals the net rental, net rental income, NRI minus the expenses. So you can see on figure dash eight, one, you've got your, um, net rental income at $1,320.50. We're right under 742 Evergreen Terrace. Minus your expenses, which is 583.50 equals your NOI, your net operating income, $737. But again, this doesn't take into account your mortgage. All right. All right. So now that you've determined a monthly net operating income, you can do the math to see if your property's cash flow by subtracting your mortgage payment from your net operating income. All right. Now we want to see if the property is actually cash flow. So net operating income uh, in figure dash eight two for 742 Evergreen Terrace is seven hundred and thirty seven dollars. Mortgage payment is six sixty nine fifty four. So the net cash flow is sixty seven dollars forty six cents per month. Eight hundred and nine dollars and forty seven cents annually. So the property is cash flowing. Not the ideal situation. You're definitely looking for a little bit more cash flow than that. Uh, anywhere from two to four five hundred dollars or more. Uh, is ideal, but uh, here's the formula for determining your uh, net cash flow. So that's cash flow equals net operating income less the debt service, and that will be your mortgage payment. So your mortgage payment is otherwise known as debt service. 
Now that you've done your due diligence, finding target investments, running and driving the comps, estimating rental income and expenses, and determining your NOI, it's time to reflect on your criteria, run the numbers, and analyze each property. Now's the time to sharpen your pencil and really start to crunch the numbers. This is where you get to listen to your gut, tinker with your worksheet, and evaluate your prospects from top to bottom and make sure the numbers meet your hold investment goals. Remember in the beginning, number one, chapter number one was talking about your personal investment criteria. Chapter two was your property criteria. Do these properties that you're evaluating meet the mold of what you're looking for? That's what we're trying to determine here. All right, so in figure 8-4, talking about some of the pros and cons when we're talking about analyzing the property. So single family home, pros and cons. Uh, number one pro is tend to have higher appreciations. Uh, number two, values more in line with the marketplace. Uh, number three, uh, less management time. And then number four, can entail less stress on the investor. Now, some of the cons for single family home investing is number one, single family stream makes prolonged vacancy painful. All right. That basically means you, you don't have, you know, uh, four or five units in a particular property, you only got one. When that property is vacant, you're uh, going to be losing some money uh, if you haven't planned for it in advance. Number two, single income stream typically yields lower lifetime cash flows. All right. So let's talk about duplex pros and cons. Number one, multiple income streams typically offer increased cash flow. All right. Generally in line with single family home values, generally viewed similarly to single family homes for financing, much lower chance for total vacancy. All right. Some of the cons, double the management headaches, potentially uh, vary market by market, depending on strategy. And then all at times located in less desirable areas. All right. So those are some of the pros and cons when I talk about single family homes versus duplexes or multifamily. All right. So let's talk about the capitalization rate, cap rate. The rule of thumb is used. Uh, this rule of thumb is used to compare properties with different valuations. It helps investors quickly guesstimate a property's value based on income on the income it generates. So quick formula is the net operating income divided by fair market value equals your cap rate. Rent to value ratio. Another way to analyze a potential investment is to look at its current net rental income against its fair market value. So we've got a, a formula here at the bottom, uh, just being able to break down the rent to value ratio. So it's the gross monthly rental income divided by the fair market value equals your rent to value ratio. Cash on cash return. This is another common rule of thumb that's used to calculate the return on your initial, initial investment, down payment, and any cost of repairs in year one. So cash flow divided by initial investment equals your year one cash on cash return. All right. This is how professional investors analyze a particular property to see if it's going to be a good deal or not for them. All right. So chapter eight, as we wrap up chapter eight, talking about some points to remember. Don't overpay for a property. You have predetermined financial criteria. Walk away from anything that does not fit your mold when it comes to the numbers. All right. So that's why we set up your personal criteria as number one. All right. Some other points to remember, stay in your chosen area. Continue to drive through and familiarize yourself with the neighborhood that you're targeting. Know your market like the back of your hand, and this will only help during the buy, manage, and grow strategies. No going in. Make sure you are clear on your must-haves and wants prior to the analysis. This is going to be key, folks. Not only can you start to use quick calculations, you won't be deterred by your emotions so that you'll be able to look at a, uh, a model investment opportunity just like the one we have here uh, for uh, Bayview Overlook, uh, priced at 370, 20% down. Uh, your cash on cash return is 13.25%. Uh, your annual cash flow is $11,763 based on 20% uh, down. Your cap rate 
is uh, 8.04%, and your net operating income is $29,760. So this is kind of how we break down the uh, investment analysis for you as well. All right, so why don't we go ahead and take a quick tour of the uh, MarylandLuxuryGroup.com website, the Market Insider tab. I promised you earlier that we'd show you where you could find rental comps. Uh, so why don't we go ahead and get into that now? So let's get to the website. There we go. All right. So this is the website here. It's MarylandLuxuryGroup.com. This is the screen that you'll see when you get here. And I just want to give you a quick tour. Uh, here in the upper left-hand corner is where you can start uh, searching for properties. And uh, you can simply enter in a one that's Annapolis. And uh, property types, let's say we're looking for single-family homes. Um, let's say we're looking at properties between uh, 500,000 and uh, we want properties that have four bedroom, uh, three bath, and then hit search. And this will pull up all the properties that are available. You can search by map if you'd like. Uh, the great thing about the map is you can just hold it down and kind of move it around a little bit. Uh, you could do a hybrid view if you want to do it this way. You can zoom on in a little bit if you need to. All right. And then you can just hover over a particular property, click on it, and it pulls up some detailed information here to the left. And then you can view some more details as well. All right. So pretty, uh, pretty user friendly. Uh, in regards to being able to come in and evaluate properties that uh, that may fit your criteria, okay? All right, so let's get back to where All right, so this is the home screen here. And again, uh, on the left-hand side, where it says community served, uh, these are all the different communities that we serve from Aberdeen to Bel Air, Canton, downtown Baltimore, Dundalk, Crownsville, Davidsonville, Ellicott City, Hanover, Hagerstown, Greenbelt, Maryland, Knoxville, uh, Mount Oak, Naval Academy, Parkton, Pasadena, Potomac, Severna Park, uh, Upper Marlboro, West Friendship, West River, Westminster, Woodstock. So these are all the different communities that we service. Got a lot of great video content here as well. Definitely encourage you to check those out when you have time. If you want to uh, try to locate me on the other social networks, you can do so by just clicking on one of these buttons here. This is our Facebook, Active Rain, uh, Pinterest, Twitter, YouTube, and LinkedIn. Okay, so all that information is there for you as well. All right, so if you click on the Buy tab, here's where you can get a little bit more finite about the information that you're looking for. So let's say we just want to look at new homes in, uh, let's see, in Dundalk. New homes in Dundalk. And we'll take out the price point. And we'll take out all the beds and baths. Let's say we're looking for three bedroom, two bath. And search. All right, so these are the three bedroom, two baths in Dundalk. All right, so these are all the new construction, new homes in Dundalk. All right. So let's look at the sell tab. So uh, this is a great place if you uh, are looking for uh, to get an idea of what your home is worth. You can receive a custom evaluation of your home, including comparisons to other homes that have recently sold or are currently on the market. This guarantees you receive the most accurate information available. To find out what your home is worth, just fill out the information below and click on the gray button get my home's value so just punch in your street address uh, your zip code all right beds bath square footage first name last name phone number and email hit on that click on the get my home's value and we'll be happy to get you an evaluation of your home now of course uh, you're going to want to um, allow us to actually visit the home to get a more accurate uh, comparison for the home's value but uh, realize that that's there uh, for you to get a brief overview as well all right, and then here's some archives of some of our, some of our seller support workshops. Uh, you can click on those, check those out. And then this is a list of 102 mistakes that most sellers make, along with the video vignettes as well, explaining how to avoid those mistakes. Uh, so definitely encourage you to check those out in your free time as well.
All right, so as we uh, continue with the tour of, uh, of the website, the Market Insider tab, uh, this is definitely something I want to bring to your attention. So here's where you can get uh, information on Market Insider. The data on this page is consolidated from multiple sources and includes list, uh, current listings, recent sales, and more. Whether you're a buyer or seller, the knowledge you gain will put you in control of your real estate transactions. So here's where you can get a lot of detailed information. I've already got 21401, which is uh, Annapolis already plugged in there. So here's where you can get some really good information about the current market situation in Annapolis, uh, price trends sold versus listed, uh, market inventory trends, uh, which is here as well, okay. Number of active listings in Annapolis dropped by 11.8% from the previous month, okay. Uh, property ownership, so if you want to get a percentage of vacant properties versus rented versus owner-occupied, you can get that there. Additional stats for uh, Annapolis, um, median listing price is 513000 uh, 640. Uh, median days on market is uh, 98. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, active listings, you've got 256. And uh, percentage of distressed listings, short sale foreclosures, only 5.5%. And again, um, you can simply you know, move this map around if you need to. Ah, look at that. That's my office right there. Let's see if we can scroll on a bit more. Yeah. Let's see, is that my office? Yeah, here's my office right here, Annapolis Exchange Parkway and Jennifer Road. Yep, there it is right there. Yeah, that's where my office is located, folks. <laughs> okay, um, so yeah, you can play around the map. <clears throat> Zoom in and out. And here's where you're gonna find your sold comps, okay? And all you would simply do is just click on the dollar sign and you'll get information about the property here to your left. So 708 Genesee Street in Annapolis, uh, sold 525 in May, tw on May 29, 2014. There's another one. Uh, 2500 Bollard Road in Annapolis, over 362. And then down here at the bottom is where you can get all of the addresses of the homes uh, the price, uh, square footage, all that information is right here as well, okay? So these are your sold comps right here at the bottom of the page. And then community info. This gets into the lifestyle in a particular area. Whoop, I'm going to go ahead and get logged in here. about that all right so as you're scrolling down here's your income by household give you an idea of the lifestyle in a particular area education levels obtained you know, how many people have graduate degrees bachelor degrees crime risk in the area you can check that out weather risk as well you got some additional stats uh, median age percentage of married couples number of homes number of homes of children uh, the thing I love the most is this map down here at the bottom uh, these maps are really pretty useful. And again, you can kind of scroll around them. Uh, but here's where you get an idea of grocery stores, home stores, appliance, electronic stores, restaurants, clothing, accessories, pet stores, bars, clubs, coffee shops, healthcare services, clinics, pharmacies, veterinarians, hospitals. All of the lifestyle amenities are right here. And then you've got the name of the particular business their address and their phone number as well. So all that's right here. Uh, as you can see, there's a lot of amenities here in Annapolis, okay? So all that information's there for you as well. Let's check out the local schools. The quality of the school can greatly influence home values in an area. On this page, you'll find detailed information on school districts, school ratings, test scores by grade, student-teacher ratio, 
and much, much more. So it looks as though uh, Anne Arundel County Public Schools are ranking 7 out of 10 from greatschools.org. And so uh, pretty good rating there. And then again, you've got the map. So you can zoom on in, you can rotate it around. You get a hybrid view if you want to do that. The thing I like the most about this particular page is clicking on the parent rating because this is going to give you an idea of how the parents see the school districts or the schools in a particular area. Looks like West Annapolis Elementary is getting a five out of five stars from the parents in the area. So pretty nice there. All right. And then lastly, <coughs> you can compare areas. You can compare community characteristics. So let's say we want to compare Annapolis to Beverly Hills. So where it says enter zip code, this needs to be a zip code in Maryland. This section right here needs to be a zip code in Maryland, okay? And the compare it to section, this can be any zip code in the country, okay? And the compare it to section, all right? So this has to be in Maryland. This can be any zip code in the country. And then just click view report. Here's where you can compare community characteristics. You can do a community summary comparison. You can do a market stability summary. Compare schools. Price trends, sold versus listed. Market inventory, inventory trends as well. Pretty, pretty useful stuff. Uh, fair market rents. This is where you can find your rental comps, okay? Um, and this is all from HUD, okay? This is from the U.S. Department of Housing and Development. And uh, what we're finding is these numbers are actually a lot lower than running them through the MLS. So uh, we're finding the studios, one bedroom, two bedroom, three bedroom, four bedrooms, are actually renting for a couple hundred dollars more than uh, what we're finding here on the from HUD. But we like to plug in these numbers as our worst case numbers, and they'll be pleasantly surprised when we find out we're actually able to generate a little bit more cash flow from some of our properties. You can compare income by household as well. So if you want to get some more lifestyle comparisons, crime risk, do a crime risk comparison, education levels obtained, other risk and smoking bans as well. So those are all the different things that you can compare on the Market Insider tab. So definitely encourage you to check that out. And the last thing I want to show you is the uh, About section. If you just click on that, here's where you get the 102 mistakes that most buyers make. You just kind of scroll down and check those out, check out the videos that we've done and a lot of good content there for you, okay? So that is a tour of the website, www.com, okay? So why don't we go back over to our screen share. There we go. All right, so that was the tour. So top five factors to consider when defining your property criteria. Number one, location, 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 location. Define your investment neighborhoods to target. Now, again, we focus on new construction investing, so definitely uh, stay tuned. Check us out tomorrow, every Wednesday, uh, when we do our new home reviews. So uh, we'll be doing a new home review tomorrow uh, at 12 noon. We do them every Wednesday, so definitely encourage you to check that out. Uh, and then number two, property type. Uh, what type of property are you looking for? Detached, single family? New construction, used homes. Determine the property, or determine the price and types of properties to target the economics of a particular area. Remember, your profit should be locked in immediately once you buy the property. Make your money going in. How? Well, you want to buy below fair market value for sure. Condition: Build the property criteria that's right for your hold strategy. All right. And then number five, features and amenities, lifestyle. What's it like in a particular area? So some of the features might be the number of bedrooms, baths, stories, garage, carpet, hardwood, or neither. Amenities could be energy efficiency improvements, built-ins, custom cabinetry, exterior improvements like a pool, or the lifestyle. You know, we showed you how to find where the local amenities were, the grocery stores and pet stores and veterinarians, hospitals, coffee shops. And we showed you where all that was. So that's um, kind of, these are some factors you want to be considering when you're defining your property criteria for sure. All right, so 
uh, definitely would love to continue the conversation with you. Uh, again, this is Aaron Rice. Uh, you can reach me on my cell phone at 443-244-0051, or you can text me at that same number. Definitely want to thank you for checking out today's live investor support workshop. This is Aaron Rice with the Maryland Luxury Group, signing out. Thank <laughs> you.